Hey ladies and gents, this is Isdo is coming to you with the review of Equidron, the War Horse. Equidron was part of the Four Horsemen's 20th anniversary bundle, celebrating the Four Horsemen Toy Design Studios 20 years in business. Um and you know as part of that bundle, you got not only Equidron, which is this awesome ogre-styled action figure, you got two t-shirts and you got two pins. And some people were uh, complaining. They said they only wanted the Equidron. They didn't want the whole bundle. Um, but I was ecstatic because I thought this was an excellent, excellent price uh, for this. You know, an ogre-style um an ogre sized action figure fully painted like this um, limited edition is normally going to go for 60 to 65 bucks. Um, the four horsemen's awesome t-shirts, uh, minimum 20 bucks each. Um, the pins of which we got two, uh, $10 each. So for me, I was like, I love everything about this anniversary bundle. Um, I love that. Um, the, the collector packaging that it comes in. I love the artists that they collaborated with on the t-shirts. Um, Nate Barch, um, who's the guy who designed this, this pin here of uh, Equidron the War Horse's head. And, you know, it looks just like him. And uh, Melita Kerfee, who uh, designed this pin here. And I found out about Melita Kerfee because uh, Eric Cornboy Mays, one of the Four Horsemen, is always showing off her work. And she does awesome monsters. This is no exception. I think that this is probably the Four Horsemen logo that is going to be used in some respect with Cosmic Legions. Because it looks like it's very alien. You've got that horse head, that iconic logo that the Four Horsemen have you know, um, had over the years and that they sort of tweak for every new line. And so I love Melita Kerfee. I love getting a t-shirt um, that she designed. Um, I love the fact that the, that the bundle came with this version of the full, uh, of the sword horseman. Um, I have some history uh, with this. Zombie 13 was the guy who came up with the idea to take the four horsemen skull like head and and incorporate it in a weapon and once i saw that up on the message boards i just started bugging the four horsemen to make it and they were like oh of course we're gonna make it this is an awesome idea i can't believe we hadn't thought of it earlier and they did and so we're gonna get this kind of special edition we got this kind of special edition sword Horseman. It's it's been released before, but um, that was a neat addition to the package. So uh, I want to start with the packaging first because this is the most beautiful packaging um, that, as far as a collector package that I've seen in a long time. Uh, it's big, so it's going to be hard to get it into the picture. But here we go. It says Mythic Legions. In the front, it's got, you know, the, the, the wonderful Mythic Legions font there uh, by Jordi uh, Djokovic. I think he designed that. And then it's got that, uh, the Four Horsemen logo, kind of the skull, the horse skull with the, with the metallic accents. And then right here on top, oops, to commemorate the Four Horsemen and their 20 years, it says 420. Don't believe that has anything to do with cannabis, but um, a lot of people think it's funny that that's incorporated on the package. On this side, um, some Nate Barch artwork. I don't know if that's a siege at Yarngar or it's some sort of castle that's that's on fire, but there's definitely a lot going on in there. Um, then we have some more art here from Nate Barch in the back. And we have the story of Mythic Legions in the back there so if you want you know you can pause that and read that but it's kind of long so i'm not going to do it in this review on this side you have a castle tower and it looks like they're it's being 
hit with a, some sort of a catapult um, projectile or something. Mythiclegions.com, sourcehorseman.com, strawhorseman.com. And you open it up. And I've already opened this. It's got it's got Equidron's story there. You can also pause and read if you want to do that. And then on this side, um, more art by Nate Barch. Now it, I took the the blister out and I I took the um, front packaging out just so you could see that art better. But there you go, beautiful wrap around in in the inside of the package and then when you close it there's a ma magnetic clasp there that holds it and i wanted to give the packaging there just to do because um like i said it's amazing you know open it close it put it back inside very very collector friendly and just a neat neat way to display your mythic legions figures and something that we haven't seen in the line thus far so it makes this you know, 20th anniversary bundle, really super special, right? And then, of course, what comes in the package is the best part, and that's Equidron, the War Horse. But let me talk about um, Four Horsemen and the history of the Four Horsemen. And uh, he's so big, he's so gigantic, that it's kind of difficult to get him in the shot. Let me see here. There we go. Okay. Um... Let's talk about the 20 years that the uh, Four Horsemen have been together. Before, and I haven't shown, I haven't shown off the t-shirts, hopefully I won't forget to do that. Before the Four Horsemen were the Four Horsemen, they were um, working together at Four Horsemen, uh, at, I don't know, at McFarlane Toy Design. And McFarlane Toy Design revolutionized the um, toy industry when it came to sculpt, detail, quality, paints, all right? All that stuff. It just, it was a whole new world with Spawn and all the figures that, you know, Eric Treadway was helping sculpt up and that Cormoy was helping fabricate and Jim was, you know, working on all the, 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 those guys were working on those. Completely revolutionized the toy collectible uh, industry, but they weren't, for the most part, highly articulated. So that, the horsemen, you know, rode off into the sunset after that and decided they were going to make their figures just as detailed and beautiful and exquisitely sculpted and painted, but they were going to cut, put articulation in them so they could be real toys that you could play with. So that was a sort of a, a second uh, a revolutionary thing that happened because of Four Horsemen toy design, and they've been, they've made tons of action figures um, especially with their collaboration with Mattel, uh, you know, their Masters of the Universe Classics line, their uh, DCUC, uh, the DC um, Classics line. And uh, they just, you know, they went on and took it to another level. McFarlane uh, fell off for a bit and then uh, they are having a resurgence. But still, uh, as far as action figures right now, the Four Horsemen are the leading lights. Um, so let me show you the t-shirts. It's That's going to be hard to put in the camera too, but um, here's the Nate Barch t-shirt with the 420 on it. And here is the Melita Curfee t-shirt. I love the bright color. And there you go. That logo like spread across your chest. You're going to have a lot of people asking you what these are about. Um, and, and really enjoying the art and all that stuff. So be prepared if you, if you wear those. I love wearing my shirts. Um, I love the pens and, and, uh, I have, I have shirts that are <laughs> not 20 years old, but almost maybe 15, uh, for Four Horsemen properties. And they've been faded and washed and stuff a million times. So I needed some new Four Horsemen t-shirts. So anyway, that's a little bit of the history of Four Horsemen toy design and, what, and, and, and how revolutionary they've been and why they should be celebrated and that, you know why this is a special thing, this 20th anniversary of bundle. So you've seen the shirts, you've seen the packaging, you've seen the pens, you've seen the special edition Sword Horseman uh, weapon that came in the packaging. And now, Last, and of course not least, Equidron. So, um, he, what, what I like to think of this as sort of a 
reverse centaur because the centaur usually has the horse's body and then has the um, human head. But this has a human a humanoid body. It's got hooves, of course, but a humanoid body and then a horse's head on that. So I thought that was a neat sort of uh, reverse centaur tweak to it. Um, the gray body, the hooves. Um, you, you've see, seen this uh, ogre-sized body before with other figures like Bolthar the Tower uh, and some of the giant orcs. But um, we, we've never had it in gray, so this is cool. I like... Um, the faux fur loincloth, which is also gray, and it really color coordinates with the skin. And then these colors really pop. The the bones in the front, um, the copper metallic, and then it really looks like leather here. You can see all the tiny little creases and crevices in the leather and all the detail that Four Horsemen is, is known for. Um, these are the two weapons that come with Equidron, so he's sort of a two-fisted... I don't know, mace man instead of a swordsman. Um, really, really uh, nice big weapons. And, you know, you could imagine that a guy this size who towers over the rest of the people on the battlefield would create havoc with these two giant maces. So um, we've seen this sort of uh, strap before, but what's new here is this headpiece that allows this horse head to attach to the regular ogre body. So you can see it sort of there. The headpiece is pretty seamless. Um, of course, the tail is also new. We've never seen this like long tail. Um, and that's really cool. We are, we've, this silver, I mean, this 20th anniversary bundle come, came around the time that we were getting to, um, get the Arathir bundle. So there is a horse that comes with that by the name of Balius. And then there's the steed for Arathir. And the co another cool thing about this figure is the fact that this head is removable and pops off. And um, you can put it on either one of those horses to have sort of an undead uh, horse. And that's super duper cool. You can see here, um, it looks like uh, some jaw bones that are being used as armor. And um, you, uh, then uh, down here is where you know that this is not a regular horse, that it's undead because it's basically a skull and you can see the teeth there. Um, so very, very cool. If you want an undead horse, like I said, make sure you get yourself a Valius and make sure you get a... a uh, uh, a, a, another steed and then you can pop and swap the head just like it you know and it comes off fairly easily and and pops on fairly easily but uh so you can you know mix you can put an orc head on there you can put you can customize it i've seen some people uh you know put different heads on there like a hulk head to have like a savage hulk um, this is the new piece that comes with it so as you can see, that can come off. That sort of furry um, headpiece makes sure that it looks like the horse's head just goes seamlessly into the body. But there you have your classic ogre um, body, except for this, which is um, the two hooves that, that he has. They're rather large hooves, so he can stand really nicely. Um, and I love that about this, this figure. So... Um, so you can put the head back on without the piece. And it looks just fine without this fur collar. Um, it looks really cool that way too. But um, the new pieces that we got with this was, of course, the fur collar and, and the hooves. And that's what differentiates this guy from uh, the other oversized, um, ogre-sized figures. So that is... The Four Horsemen's Equidron, the War Horse, and part of the 20th anniversary uh, bundle. There's also a figure called Shadow Equidron that I believe is also available. It's coming later. Um, and so look at all these details. Look at like these, these horns uh, coming out of those gauntlets. Um, 
just amazing, amazing stuff. I could go on for ages, but it, this review's already reached 15 minutes. So I'm gonna cut it short and let you go back, uh, uh, you know, to enjoy your, your Saturday and um, just sort of just take a gander at all those details and all that beautiful paint. You know, I love the shading on the musculature and the um, um, just along all the different muscles that really makes it pop. So, um, yeah, Equidron uh, the Warhorse, a very, very cool addition who just kicks butt. And just like he, he and he's giant. So you can tell there's other action figures right now out there, but he just towers over them. Right. We have got Warhammer from McFarlane. Nice figure, but not nearly as cool. Um, I, I picked up Grodd um, from the Multiverse line, which is another nice figure, but nope, doesn't have enough detail. Also uh, gets defeated by Equidron. Even Shao Kahn, which I love uh, this McFarlane figure, is, is not as big or as cool as Equidron. So... Uh, you know, just like the Four Horsemen have defeated all comers over the last 20 years and conquered the action figure world, um, we expect that they'll continue uh, to be successful. And, you know, look into the rest of the Mythic Legions line. You will definitely, definitely not be uh, disappointed. There's a pre-order for Deluxe uh, Legion Builders right now that you should... Uh, that you should definitely check out. And I'm going to add one thing to um, this guy because, hey, I got to represent for the Mexicans out there. He's going to be the Caballero. Equidron, the Caballero. I think it looks nice. I think it looks cool. Here, let me... <laughs> He's going to be my amigo. All right, let's do his signing off.